Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mac if you're new here and today I'm going to be going over how you can set up your own print on demand store with Printify and Shopify. I'm going to go into detail, show you exactly how to sync the two platforms, show you how they work and how you can start selling online right after watching this video. So if you're completely new to print on demand and you have no idea how it works, I will leave a link for a video that I did. It is a course going over print on demand and also a print on demand guide that I have created. It's an e-guide. You can follow it along. Those will both be linked in the description below because today I want to go into more how to use the actual platforms rather than the explanation of print-on-demand, but I will just give you some insight if you have never heard of it before. So print-on-demand is a way that you can partner up with a supplier and sell products without inventory. How this works is the supplier has the white label products or blank products. You put your design on them virtually and then when you receive a sale, that print on demand supplier is going to create it, pack it, and ship it for you so you're not holding the inventory and you're able to run an online store while using a place that they're creating these items and shipping them for you. So it's a really great online business model and I talk a lot about it here on my channel. So in this case, Printify would be our supplier that's going to create those products for us. Printify has so many different kinds of products available to do this, like candles, blankets, it's so much more. So definitely on Printify, do check out how many products there are available. You can create a store selling pretty much anything. So in order to create a print-on-demand store, you're going to need a website. That is how people are going to purchase the items and have those orders get sent over to Printify. So how do you build the website? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Shopify. It is one of the greatest website holders on the internet. I'm sure you've heard of it before, and I'll show you how to sync the two stores. Now, Shopify is a paid website host. However, they do have a free trial available, so that will be linked in the description for you, along with the link for Printify as well. How this works is you create that beautiful Shopify store where you're going to be selling all of your products. You market your products to potential customers for the niche that you're selling in. When they come to your store, they will click and purchase your item, and then that order is going to go directly to Printify with all of that customer's information, what their order is, and Printify is going to create it and send it to them. So I'm going to show you how to sync these platforms properly so that this works simultaneously and can become a passive income source. So the very first step is going to be creating your Shopify account. Now Shopify you can set up a free trial and it'll walk you through how to set it up super easily and also know that here for your store name this can be changed so if you're not totally decided on that yet you can still come back and change it so that's an important note. This is what the Shopify dashboard looks like. It is going to show you how to set up your store through um, the guide which is really helpful. So once you've done this and you have your Shopify store set up, we're going to hop over to Printify. And that is where you would create your Printify account. Now you do need to have both of these accounts set up first before you can sync them. So it is a fairly easy process. When setting up your Shopify and Printify account, it is going to ask you for some personal information and bank details. That is because this is a business and you are going to have to run money through it. So you are going to have to fill out that information. Um, again, I do have that course and e-guide link below Below that goes more into depth on that, but just note that you will need that stuff to set up both of these accounts. Printify is going to walk you through the account setup as well. So once you get to the area that lets you know to sync your store, that is how we're going to go back to our Shopify and link those together. So if you were already past that part, there is a screen up here where you can manage your store and then you can select add new store. So I'm going to go to add new store. And then the very first option up here is Shopify. So I'm going to go ahead and hit connect. And then all we're going to do is go over to our Shopify store and we're going to select our domain, copy that that and paste it over here. Now mine says admin. I'm going to have to take that out because it's not going to work. So once that's done, you're going to go ahead and hit connect and it's going to bring you onto Shopify through Printify and it's going to go ahead and ask you for access to do this. So this is what I'm going to do here. I'm going to go down and select install app. Now it's going to have me log in through the Shopify app. So then you can go ahead and open the full site through Shopify and it's going to take you to Printify and then here you can edit your store. So this is our 
Printify store that we just set up through Shopify. You can always double check to up here to make sure that it shows connected. So it is showing my POD shop with Shopify is connected. So we're good to go. So once that's done, you're going to want to decide what products you want to sell. Like I was saying earlier, Printify has so many options for different products to sell. So definitely take your time in deciding what exactly you want to sell, what would be good for the niche that you're in or the you know, designs that you have. So I'm going to go up here to catalog and I'm, like I said, there are so many options, but I'm going to show you how to do this on a plush toy. So I'm going to go to holiday picks because I saw this the other day on here and I'm going to go over and find this little stuffed animal. Now, this is just such a cute idea, especially for people during the holidays. So I'm thinking of starting a store with these. So it's so cool that you can do print on demand and add your design on something like this. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and click start designing. So it is gonna show the little mock-up of the t-shirt here that's gonna go on that animal I just showed you. And I created a text-based design in Canva. This was a super easy design to do. But once it's uploaded in here, I can adjust it to my liking. I can obviously make sure that it is um, centered and done correctly. You always wanna make sure too that it says high resolution because you don't want the items to be printed with poor quality. The better quality file you have, the better the print will come out. Printify has a great, great quality, but you do wanna make sure that you're providing them with a file that is going to be printed correctly. So that is on you. That's something you need to make sure you keep in mind. So like I said, I just uploaded this right here and then I'm gonna make sure it's centered the way that I want it. And then again, so cool options. Look at all the options that we have for the color t-shirt. So I can select a pink shirt, a gray shirt, a blue shirt. And then if I go up here to preview, Printify is going to show me exactly what that product is going to look like when it is printed and sent to the customer. So this is what the customer is purchasing and will receive. And I love that it's going to show me all the different colors and options. And now looking at how good this mock-up is, I can actually go back and say, okay, I think I want it print it a little bit bigger. So I'm just gonna continue editing it, going back and forth and seeing the way I'm liking it and making sure that because I'm playing around with the size of the image, that that resolution is still high quality. Look at all the different animals too that you can select to have on your store. So this is a really cool idea. You can go ahead and steal it. You can start a store um, selling these. It's this is a really cool product to have. Okay, so then once I'm finished and I'm happy with the way the product looks, I'm gonna go ahead and hit save product. Now this is going to be walking us through uploading the product to our Shopify store. So as you can see here, it's giving all the options for the different mockups. So I can select which mockups I want, the title image, that's just the first image that's going to pop up as soon as the customer clicks on it. So I'm actually gonna make that blue. And here I'm gonna scroll down and this is where I'm going to edit my product title and description. Keep in mind when you're doing your title and description, SEO, that is search engine optimization. That is how your products are going to be found, how Google is going to push them in the algorithm. So you do want to make sure you're using keywords and putting them in with your products. So you can either edit this in the Printify app, which I do think is the easier way to do it, but you can always go back and change things through Shopify as well. So don't feel like you have to re-list something. If you do mess up here, you can go back and edit it through both platforms, which is really great. So don't be too concerned about that. Now also here for the tags is where we're gonna put the tags again. That will help us for the SEO. And I'm gonna scroll down here and this is the pricing section. Now this is very important because obviously we need to make a profit or there's no point in selling items. So you do want to go ahead and do your research to see what your competition's pricing looks like, how you can be competitive in it. And you also wanna go ahead and make sure that you're making enough of a profit for it to be worth you to doing this work. So as you can see here, the product costs, which means we are paying Printify the price of $16.42. Now, if suggesting that the retail price be $27.37. So for the profit here, you can go ahead and just edit this to your liking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select it and hit edit profit. Now, let's say I wanted to make $20 on this item. It would go ahead and do that math for us. Now, I do think that's a little bit high of a price. I am not going to do the price of that high, but I do wanna tell you that if you wanted to do a custom option for this product, you could charge more. So Printify is great and actually offers you 
to add in text while you're designing. So for everyone's orders that are custom, you could go back in and edit those manually to create a custom product. Now, because that does take a little bit more work, you could potentially charge more. And usually with custom products, people understand that they are going to have to pay more. So that is something to keep in mind. So if I'm not gonna charge this much for this because I'm not doing the custom option on this one, but again, something that you should do your research on, but this is how you would essentially do your profit. So let's say I wanted to make $12 on the item. This is how much I'm gonna be charging, $28. Great, so then I'm gonna scroll down. Now it's gonna ask for variant visibility and we are going to select only show stock items and hide out of stock items. That means that people can't purchase the items when they're out of stock. Then we're gonna go back down here. We don't have any Shopify collections yet. That can be done in the Shopify app. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit publish. Now this is gonna take a few minutes here, but essentially it's gonna show us that it's publishing. Every option is in stock that we've listed and we have a total of 24 variants. So now if we head over to our Shopify store and go to products, this is where that will pop up. Now it's still publishing, so it's not there yet. You do have to give it a few minutes. I went ahead and refreshed the page. And as you can see here, that product that we just listed through Printify has showed up successfully in our Shopify store. So I'm gonna go over here and just click on it. And then as you can see, like I was saying, you can still edit everything that we just did in Printify on Shopify, which is great. And this is how you would go ahead and edit your price, decide which photos you wanted to add. And it's if you had ordered a sample, you could go ahead and create um, more mock-ups just by taking photos of this product yourself or you know there's other different ways to get mock-ups I do have a video on that I will link linked below for you. And then once you're finished, you could go ahead and preview it. And this is what your Shopify store would look like. Obviously I did not select a Shopify theme yet. I didn't create my actual store yet, but this is how you would get the products on there. And then I would suggest going back in and designing your store. So here's what it looks like just as like a rough draft of what your customer would see. Now looking at this, I would definitely go back and take out some of these photos. I feel like there's a lot going on here just for how many variants there are. So that is something that I would go ahead and do is balance out those photos, maybe like one photo per um, animal plush, even if the colors are different so that you can kind of, the customer can get an idea, but is not overwhelmed with the options. So that is how easy it is to sync products from Printify over to Shopify. So you can go ahead and just continue doing this process. Like I said, look through Printify's catalog, through their best sellers. There are so many different options. And something to keep in mind too, is if you create a design that you really like, like, you can put that on multiple products. You could have the same design that's on a mug, go ahead and be on a t-shirt or a backpack or even a Bluetooth speaker or an art print, stickers, buttons, or pillowcases. So again, there's just so many options here. Another great thing with Printify is they do have a help center and a live chat. So any questions that you have, anything you need can be answered through Printify. So just keep that in mind. So if you're thinking or feeling overwhelmed about all of this, there is help there and there's ways to do it. Printify is free to sign up and use. You are only going to be paying per order that you receive. So if your customer purchases your plush toy for that $30 and you have to pay $20 to Printify, you're keeping that $10 profit. So Printify is going to charge you per order and that is just how it works, but it is free to actually use the platform. So if you're not receiving any orders and you're still setting up your store, you don't have to pay to use Printify. I really hope that this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions about either platform, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. And like I said, everything I talked about today will be listed in the description. So all of those links will be there for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.